We're here in uh, Wellingborough with the, uh, the council leader. Uh, we're looking at a couple of things. One, we've been discussing uh, housing generally, but also some of, the, some of the stuff that's going to come as a consequence of both the unit tree and the advent of prison. We're also having a look at the redevelopment of the Swansgate um, shopping centre uh, and particularly the parking area to make sure, see how we can design out crime and make it safer from a uh, uh, both police and fire perspective. And then we're also looking at uh, where we did some work with the, the Daylight Centre through a community grant to enable them to, uh, to reduce homelessness by allowing them to open on a Friday. So we provide a little bit of money so they're actually able, able to open an extra day. As with probably any other town centre, um, antisocial behaviours on the increase, um, homelessness is, is a problem not just for this area but nationally. Um, and, and rough sleepers, it, it's a problem that's, that's getting even greater as we go into um, harder economic climate. When you look at the police resources that are going into it, it's, it's clear that as a one agency we can't tackle this issue alone. And then to get all the different partnership agencies and support alongside us, it's really um, humbling to know that they, we can achieve things for the community in Wellingborough. They've had some real, real challenges in here, some serious anti-social behaviour. One of the keys for us is, is actually we can, we can, we'll never be able to enforce our way out of crime. One of the things is actually it's only working in partnership with our local partners are we actually going to prevent it from happening. We are trying to address the quality of life issues that are here in Wellingborough and that we will continue to, to offer that support and advice and help where we can.